guys, it's me, Talia Arisa Gibson. You can call me Ty for short, and welcome to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Today, guys, I won't be with you long, but I just wanted to share something that I was thinking about. So I know sometimes when you're trying to achieve a goal or you're trying to think about your future, people will always say, you're thinking too small think bigger you got to think big and I was thinking about that just as I was getting ready to go to the gym and I was thinking about it I was like you know what sometimes it's better to think small hear me out <laughs> so sometimes when you think too big you get overwhelmed by how big the goal is that you just don't get started have any of you ever been there so let me give a couple of examples so let's say um, you're wanting to lose weight and you might get on the scale and let's say, um, I don't know, like, let's say you want to lose 20 pounds, 30, 40, however many you want to lose, right? And you might say, oh my gosh, you go to the gym or you go work out, you're eating better, things like that. And then you step on a scale and you're like, I only lost one pound. And then you get discouraged because you think about the 50 pounds that you have to lose or whatever it might be, right? If you're thinking big, you're thinking about that big number, 50 or 20 or 30, right? But if you were to think a little bit smaller and say, you know what, I wanna lose two pounds a week and just focus on that, thinking a little bit smaller to something that's doable. Cause you think about like the 50, the 40, you think about those bigger numbers, it's gonna take you longer to get there. So in the process, you're discouraging yourself because you're thinking about the big picture, the big number. So it might be beneficial to think smaller and think about the one to two pounds a week that is doable, because you can do it. If you're eating right, if you are working out, that deficit in calories and things like that and I'm not talking about like dieting I'm talking about eating right and working out according to your body you would lose it right one to two pounds a week and that's healthy so then you're not so overwhelmed by this big number so if you step on the scale and you see that you lost one or two pounds it's more of a celebration another example would be let's say um you're wanting to write a book and you're thinking about all the pages you have to write. I have this idea for a book. I want to do it. I know that these are the amount of pages that it could possibly be. And you might just overwhelm yourself with, I'm never going to have time to get this done. And you think about, I have a job. I, you have kids. You might have a husband. You may have all these things going on. And you're thinking about, how am I going to fit it in to do it? But if you think small, then you could say, you know what? I'm going to write one page a day. And if I write more than that, great, but can I just write the one or two a day? Can I do that? That's doable. And so so I think it's important sometimes that we think smaller. It doesn't mean that that big picture is not there. It doesn't mean that you don't have big dreams or big goals, but sometimes thinking a little bit smaller will make your goals more achievable and you don't give up so quickly because you're setting these small milestones along the way and achieving those that's going to get you to the big goal eventually but in the process of it you're not overwhelming yourself does that make sense i hope it does but just think about that the next time someone tells you to dream big or dream bigger like maybe you have to break that down into smaller chunks so that you can actually achieve something and it doesn't just stay a dream because a goal without action and progress is just a dream. A goal without action and progress is just a dream. And if you really want to set a goal, something you want to reach in life, you have to set those small milestones along the way. Like you got to step up the ladder. It's not like if you think of, I think I saw like an image of a tall ladder 
and um, it had a person that was trying to get to the first step, but the first step was way up here. But when they shortened the steps to smaller steps, then the person was able to get to that first step faster with a lot less effort. And not saying you don't have to put in effort, but there's no way you can lose 50 pounds in a day or a week. So you could kill yourself trying to reach an impossible goal, or you could just do the right thing to make it manageable for that week. And I think that's possible. So I'm encouraging you guys to dream a little bit smaller um, so that you can reach those big goals and achieve them. And hopefully this video is helpful to you. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that because it just popped in my mind. And sometimes, you know, when something is helpful for me, I feel like I should share it with you guys. A lot of the things, like if I'm talking about ways to help or like positivity or motivation, it's something that I've already been doing to motivate or inspire myself that I feel like I should share with you guys. And so that's really what I am trying to do. But yeah, I just think sometimes we hurt ourselves by setting these ridiculous expectations that we can't ever reach or kill ourselves trying to reach them or stressing ourselves out trying to reach them when we can just think a little bit smaller and make those steps to get there. I, I think sometimes I wonder if like because growing up here in America when you go to other countries you notice that the lifestyles are sometimes not as fast paced. So I think sometimes we just want to achieve things so fast and so quick. We don't take time to just enjoy the experience and know that eventually you're going to get there. It's like we want the quick fixes or we don't want to do the work that it takes. So we're trying to find easy solutions and those easy solutions might backfire later on or you might be successful for a little while and then you end up having to backtrack and do it the right way anyway. So it's just something to think about as you guys are setting goals, whatever it may be, just consider that. And so even for myself, like for my YouTube channel, I've been saying like, I don't really know what I want to do for my YouTube channel. I don't really want to do mukbangs. I don't really want to do this, that, whatever it might be. And so I was watching uh, another content creator. I don't want to um, mess up her, her name right now. So I'm not going to say it. But I was watching another content creator and she was basically just saying um, that you just have to make the video. Like, just turn on the camera and make the video and put some content out so that you're staying consistent. And, you know, the ideas and the things like that will come. Um, and who knows? Like, maybe you guys will like me sitting here talking and sharing um, inspiration or motivation or talking about news stories or whatever it might be. Um, and that might be more of a thing that I do more often if it's something that you guys like. But I just wanted to share that and hopefully it was encouraging to you. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning into this video. Um, I am about to go to the gym. I'm going to take these these things off but um I'm about to go to the gym workout uh today that I'm recording this is Friday and I'm gonna release it on the same day um but yeah I just spent the day the morning getting some work stuff done I'm getting ready to have to uh travel again for work um which will be starting at the beginning of September all the way out till who knows I counted the amount of flights, and that includes me flying there and flying back. The amount of flights that I have scheduled so far are 29 flights, and that's only for one project. So I'm definitely going to have a lot going on with that. Um, my flight schedule usually, so like if I have to work on a Monday, I have to fly out on a Sunday. And then if my last day there is a Thursday, then that Thursday night, I fly back. There's like one week, I think, one or two weeks where I have to stay over a weekend because I have to be there all the way till a Friday and then I have to be back on a Monday. So it doesn't make sense to fly back 
and then fly right back like a day later. So I think there's two times where that happens, but for the most part, I would fly on a Sunday and then fly back on a Thursday night. Um, and sometimes it might be that I fly there on a Monday and I fly back on a Friday night. It just depends on how holidays go and stuff like that. But it's definitely a blessing to be able to to uh, do something that is completely different than I ever thought um, I would do when I got into the education world. And so, um, but there's a need for it. There's so much going on in our school systems and things like that. I appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye.